again. Girls trying to make I, a lot of black lives. Yo, lie about me. Don't touch me. Okay. Don't touch me, my nigga. So get in. Bow with a nigga. Make him pay for it. Boy, you stutter, stutter, stutter like you can't afford it. Send him money, send him white nigga, transport it. Ass you can win I walk, so he can't ignore it. Hey y'all. If you don't know who Jocelyn is, she is the co-producer of a show surrounding herself called Jocelyn's Cabaret. I don't understand why you're so upset. I'm Cause not you upset. Went, Cause you're my I'm bitch. Not, 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 not. The show is listed as a chronicle of the everyday life of Jocelyn Hernandez as she struggles to launch a cabaret show in Miami. On the second season of this show, basically, a fight started between these two girls. I think one was from like New York and the other one was like a black girl. I don't remember where she was from, but like they started this fight. Basically the fight kind of got turned into a fight about race and how the black girl felt like she didn't like how the white girl had said the n-word this bitch i hear you saying it again on my brother grave i'm being your ass say nigga again girl, I, make I, a I, lot of black lives yo relax bitch Jocelyn, bitch yo, I, are you say nigga, serious bitch. but later in that show the same girl gets into it with jocelyn jocelyn calls her the n-word say what well, she just bitch, said I'm, I'm sorry back up off me don't touch me okay don't okay. touch me my nigga don't touch me. Or basically says the N-word towards her, whatever you want to say. And it's like everybody was saying something about the other girl saying it, like the white girl saying it. But like, ain't nobody really saying nothing about Jocelyn saying it, which I'm like, why is she saying it? Like, why is anybody saying it? But first of all, why is she saying it? Why is it okay? Because she's saying it just because it's her show. Like, of course it's her show and she ain't finna just get beat up or whatever, but I still don't think it's right that she ain't face no backlash just for saying the N-word and that certain people feel like they can say the N-word and not face any backlash just because they may or may not be latina or hispanic or uh, have african ancestors jocelyn hernandez was born in ponce puerto rico she's listed as afro puerto rican on some sites and is also just listed as puerto rican on others all sites make it clear that her and her family are puerto rican are and are from ponce puerto rico the internet also makes it clear that puerto rican people are around 60 percent european and 20 percent african descent and all the other numbers being unimportant in this argument i just feel like if you wouldn't call yourself caucasian puerto rican or like european puerto rican even though you're more than 50 over 50 percent european or caucasian or whatever you want to call it i feel like why call yourself afro puerto rican just so you can reach the black demographic of course i will bring out the fact that when i first did try to look up her ethnicity to find out you know what was going on with everything the first thing i did see was the love and hip-hop site telling me oh she's afro puerto rican she's black she has african descent of course love and hip-hop gonna be telling me that because of course they want to add some add some blackness to this because this is a black show and they got this Puerto Rican girl in this black show of course they gonna say she's Afro Puerto Rican and whatnot like, I just don't understand what would make somebody so African that they gotta identify themselves like that honestly tell me because I don't see what makes her Afro Puerto Rican I just feel like having African descendants does not give you the right to say the n-word at all like what? what about the so African part I'm just saying I don't see what makes her so African that she would have to identify herself as Afro Puerto Rican and not as European Puerto Rican like I just wouldn't understand that if Puerto Americans are 60% European and 20% African. The numbers might not completely check out and we can go into science all day, but ain't nobody here a scientist. I'm just giving you the answers Google gave me and they telling they telling me that Puerto Rican people are of 20% African descent. It might be more than that. Her people might be of even more percentage or it might be of even fewer because it just wasn't that many slaves on the island of Ponce compared to the other islands that are in Puerto Rico. Let's just say even if she is half Puerto Rican and half African descent, I don't see how that, I still don't think that would give her the right to say the N-word. Honestly, I feel like the N-word is an African-American word, not an African word. Africans weren't using the N-word. It was used in slavery against African Americans. I'm sure the word isn't foreign to African. The word was was turned around and revamped for African Americans. So I don't see how you would find it culturally appropriate to use the N word as somebody with African descent. If anything, I would think it was more disrespectful. Honestly, my true belief is I believe one of your parents have to be African American for you to be able to say the N word. I didn't say one of your parents have to be African. I said one of your parents have to be African American for you to say the N word. Because I feel like the word isn't just a word from slavery, which is why it would maybe be a word for people with African descendants to use. 
laws, but I don't think it's a slavery word. It's a word from after slavery when all the Jim Crow laws was going around. That's the word they were just using against us as African Americans. And it's a word I feel like we revamped ourselves. Like in the point in time where the equal but not equal thing was just being in place and African Americans really just felt like the bottom grade of people. Even after slavery when we felt like we would be free and everybody felt like everything was okay but then you have to realize not only are you in a country that you have no idea what's going on with everything in but you gotta try to assimilate yourself into this hatefulness and all this anger that's just being pushed on you for the color of your skin and I just feel like African American people can relate with that and African American people can use the n-word and I feel like if one of your parents ain't African American you using the n-word you're wrong I feel like we took the n-word back to use as our own like the the one with the er like we don't use that we use the one with the a yeah basically we took that word back to use for our own to use as a way to greet each other me thinking of when i use the word i use the word when i'm with my friends and i'm like please and i'm like you know what you know it don't even be like i don't even feel like i use the word a lot but when i do it's with somebody i'm comfortable with the word is just being continually used by people who the pressure of society is not pushing down on you y'all don't gotta face any of these things for just being having your skin be just a little darker i feel like jocelyn can call herself afro puerto rican and enjoy all the culture she want i feel like nothing is wrong with that if you have african descent i don't see nothing wrong with you enjoying or indulging the african culture because that's what your ancestors used to used to be with i don't see nothing wrong and i don't think nothing is wrong with like marginalized groups and people of color sharing in different uh in different cultures that they actually partake in nothing is wrong with that and my thing also is that this lady is hispanic like i ain't saying it to say no she from a spanish speaking country english is not her first language so you know she ain't grow up with this word in the back of her tongue i'm very sure she was not saying nigga in spanish or nothing like that she got to america and heard people saying it and then that's where she caught on to it and started saying it like this word is not something she uses as a term of endearment or anything like that like as we saw i don't know she was telling her don't get in my face n word da, da, da. you know she, she using the word when she's mad i don't just say the n word when i'm mad i use it when i'm with my friends as a term of endearment she's using it as this because she's ignorant and knows nothing about the word therefore she shouldn't say it and i feel like she's using the n-word and getting away with it because she just so happens to be a light-skinned famous person of color and i don't think that's right at all and i feel like a lot of people of color end up getting away with using the n-word just and you're not african-american so why do you feel like it's okay to say this honestly you can say whatever you want to about the subject like if i see Jocelyn in the street i'm whipping that ass it's like <laughs> honestly if i see any of y'all in the street and y'all decide to say the n-word to me and y'all not african-american or not black or nothing like that and you just say the n-word to me i'm whooping that ass like it is what it is like i don't know i just feel like i gotta do it for my ancestors honestly <laughs> honestly i want people to get their opinions in the comments and whatnot say what you think about the subject because i do be wanting different people opinions on the subject because i really feel like i can feel no other kind of way about this if you don't have a black parent an african-american parent then you shouldn't be saying the n-word if one of your parents is white and one of your parents is african-american yeah you can say the n-word because you have an african-american parent you are african-american anything else and i really don't understand like <laughs> why, why you think why you were saying it why you saying it? yeah give your opinions in the comments but please don't be crazy because best believe that i bite back and i do not care i will talk about your mama like. also if you're gonna come come with the facts because i definitely did do my research before this even if you want to say something is wrong with the numbers and oh puerto ricans aren't 20 percent african or any of that okay if she isn't 50 percent african if she isn't african-american at all she shouldn't be saying the word period